hey y'all welcome back so this is part two of my perfume collection so i'm gonna go straight in i have the parfum du marley and this is la rose rosy rose and i love 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 i got this from nordstrom and i know i was trying to choose between this one and the exclusive and the original and i chose this one because i believe the lady said this was a limited edition so i said you know what? i'm gonna go, go ahead and get this one because i know that if it's a limited edition you know it can it could um it can sell out and i know the other ones they're gonna always be there so um this is very beautiful i don't really wear this like that on to special only on special occasions it's just too cute to be out there wearing any and everywhere the, er, any place on deserve a good smelling scent and i believe this was 335 something like that and look at this bottle just cute perfect tomorrow has beautiful bottles just elegant the smell is off the top it is Tom Ford Black Orchid, and I believe I got this off of Fragrance Net, and this scent is very horrible. I wore it once, and that was my last time. This scent is just straightforward. I'm not sure how much I paid for this, but this is just like a phantom in a bottle. It's just no. It's a no for me, but I'm still going to hold on to her. I'm not sure if it's a him or her. I think it's unisex, but I'm still gonna hold on to it because you know I have separation anxiety for my perfumes. I end up giving them away and then I go back and go buy. I go back and go buy them. My next one is Coach Poppy Seed. I got this from Perfumania, and I'm not sure how much this was, but this is like a clean. I'm gonna try to try to see how I can describe this perfume. It's very clean. Um. I will say I will wear this like in the springtime. But it's a cute little bottle. And this is Coach. And I think this one is called Poppy Seed. We have fun things to always happen, happen after sunset. And this is by Killian. And look at this little bottle. I wanted a big bottle, but they didn't have it. So I just took this small bottle. And I love this scent. I, you know, I will wear this like, mm, like the fall, winter months. A very beautiful scent and i just hate that they didn't have a big bottle of this so i had to settle for this little little bottle my next one is i don't need a prince by my side to be a princess and this is also killian as well and uh, yeah this is very beautiful i know they had discontinued this sh the bottle so now they have a different make of a bottle. So it's like a plain ordinary bottle. And I know people were trying to get their hands on like the original bottle. Like this is cute. I just like the little ball. And I believe if you took the top off, the spray is, you know, like this way. You took the top off. That is Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. And I got this at Sephora. I'm not sure how much I pay for this, but I feel like it was well worth it because I'm glad I got it when I got it because now they had the plain, you know, the plain bottle. We have Narciso, Ciso, and this is like the regular EDP, and this is a blind buy, and worst blind buy, I do not like the smell of this. It just, it's irritating, and I wish I could just take this bag, and I think I got this off of Amazon. We have Valentino. I'm not sure which one this one is. It doesn't say. But this is very clean. I would say it's definitely a summer scent. I got this off of Sephora. I'm not sure how much I pay for. I would say maybe 140, I would say, because it's like the big bottle. And this is like a in the same family of Born in Roma. Born in Roma. And I wore this today is by Rado Bal Arfrique and this is a plain bottle it smells pretty good I do have a dupe to this this what um I started off with the dupe first and I got that dupe from Dossier Dossier and it's called Orient of Vetiver and honestly these guys smell so similar to each other um and as you said I have like a dent in this so I loved it so much so once I got my funds together, I went ahead and got the bigger bottle. And um, this is very clean, I believe it's unisex. And I got this from Neiman Marcus. I believe it was 275 or 276, something like that. And this is 
Belle at a Fleek by Byredo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but the next one is Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. I got this from Perfume Mania, and this is definitely, I'll say, a summer scent. You know, something casual. You know, you can wear it to the gym, to the grocery store. I want to wear this like going to the interview or going out. It is like a casual type of perfume. And also, if you guys can't get your hands on this, this is a dupe to it. This is this Paris Hilton perfume. I'm not sure what is this called, but um, this and that smells very similar to each other. And this is the Paris Hilton. I'm not sure if I went over this. I believe I did, but I did. I apologize. This is Rouge Malachite Armani Privé, and this is a very this is a tuberose scent. Like I said, I love tuberose, and it has it gives me vibes of you know the cinnamon is very strong in this, but it's still beautiful. And I got this from I think Neiman Marcus, and I think it was like two something. Not sure. Cute little bottle. All right, so we have Moschino Gold Fresh Couture. Um. I have this fragrance in like a sample. I had ordered like a little sample. I wouldn't say kit, but it was a sample of like all their perfumes. And I love them all, but this one was just like calling my name. This to me is like, I'm, I can't describe this scent. This is a very sexy scent. I would definitely say date night, um, you know, or going to work. I feel like you can just wear this all the time, but you know, if you're beginning to, you know, in the beginning stages of wearing perfume, this, you know, it may be a bit much, but you know, I have built a tolerance up for certain fragrances, especially like the strong smelling ones. But this is very sexy to me. I love this. And out of those, out of the Moschinos, this one I chose to go get a big bottle of. There is some more that I would like to get a big bottle of, but this one, which is called my name, and it's a cute bottle. It looks like a little cute Windex bottle. Sugar Berry Blast. And I feel like every girl should have this perfume in her collection. Like you can't go wrong with the pink sugar. I have the, the original pink sugar, very sweet. And I had and I have red velvet. One of them, I think the original pink sugar I had got off a of fragrance then, I believe it was 20 bucks. And the other two, Velvet and the Berry Blast, I had to get off of Macy's, and I believe they retail for six time for noir. And I think this was no, this was a blind buy, but I actually went inside before I purchased this bottle to get a sample of it. And I love it. This is like very good in the wintertime. It projects, projects beautifully. And this is Tom Ford Noir. And I believe this is like a hundred and something. I'm not sh too sure. But yeah, I love this Tom Ford Noir. It's Creed Events is for her. And I got this because I know my husband do have the Aventus, so I wanted to get, you know, for her version. And this is pretty good. It's, you know, it's very strong, and it does last on you for a couple of days, I will say that. But I know, like, I have oud fragrances, and I know I can smell oud once I, you know, I can smell a oud in fragrances, for sure, for sure, because oud is very strong. And... At first, I was not feeling this perfume because of the oud up in. I'm not sure if it does has oud in, but it smells like oud in here. But I went ahead to get this perfume a little chance, and I placed it on me. And after a while, it smelled pretty good. So, like I said, like some fragrances, stop. Some fragrances you have to like, you know, test them out on your skin. You can't go by what it smells from the bottle sometimes, or you know, on a card because sometimes. It could smell good on the car, but it smell horrible on you, or it may smell, you know, good on you, and it may smell bad for the car. So this is Aventus for her, and I had got this from Perfume Mania. I forgot how much this was, but you know, Creed fragrances are not cheap. We have this Katy Perry perfume, and this is the EDP. And honestly, what draw me to this perfume was the bottle. Now the fragrance inside, it does smell good, but um. It don't really last. I just got it for the bottle, and I do want to go back and get the pink one, but it's kind of hard to get your hands on these since they they don't make them no more, and people want an arm and leg for these. And me, I don't do small bottles. Well, I want me a big bottle. I don't want to get a baby sister to her. I want the big one. I'm not sure what the lighter purple one is called, but I want to get that one next. It's cute. We have Pure Delicious by rebel sense 
Now, if you guys don't know about Rebel Scents, you need to go check them out. I love Rebel Scents. They make their own perfumes, and their perfumes are reasonable. They do carry name brand perfumes. And this is like, I would say, a definitely a summer scent. It's very light. And look at the cute little bottle. And I'm not sure how much I paid for this, but it wasn't that much. Because, you know, it's not like a... This perfume pot was no more than $30. $30 or less. Is Elish by Billy Elish. And I had got a sample of... No, I didn't get a sample of this. I had um, got like a little a catalog from Ulta. And I had saw this and I'm like, well, draw me to this perfume was the bottle. Like, come on, like look how sexy this bottle is and i was looking at the notes in the fragrance and i'm like okay i'm thinking i may like this so i went ahead and just bought it and it smells pretty good and you know most of all like i like bottles so i had to get her regardless if she smelled good or not but i would say this is a plus i got this from ulta and i think it was like a hundred and something fragrance is k ali invite only and uh, I believe I got this off of Sephora or I got this from their website. So I know one of these, I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was the Amber or something like that. No, it's not the Amber. It's the, I can't think of it. But I had to grab this because this was on, this was like, so this one, I'm not sure if it's this one or the other one, but I had to get my hands on it because they do sell all quick when, you know, first, when they first launched a fragrance and it's invite only. And I believe it's like a hundred and something. Excuse the bottle, it has so many handprints upon it, but it's a cute little gold bottle. For a perfume, just forgive me, there's so much up here, I don't know which one I talked about, which one I didn't. The next one is Marc Jacob Daisy Skies, and this is a very clean fragrance. And I got this from Sephora, and I think there's like about a hundred, something like that. Cute. My next one is MAC. I think it's Kenny Yum Yum, and this is a beautiful fragrance. I had to go get it. This was a blind buy. Getting on, being on YouTube and looking at those fragrance videos will get you, especially if you don't have no self control like me. But yeah, this one smells so good, and it, you know it smells pink. I can't really describe it. Like it does smell like candy yum yum, and I believe this was sixty bucks, sixty sixty five at Mac. The next one is Marshmallow Addiction by Zara, and. I know on the Zara website, this was sold out and I had to go look, do some look searching for, you know, for this fragrance. Cause I know I was sold about it on TikTok and this retail for like 20 bucks, but you know, I had to spend an extra 20 for it. So bringing me to like 40 bucks and some, you know, tax and shipping and whatever. And honestly, this fragrance is a headache. I'm sorry. I don't get no marshmallow addiction from this. It's a straight headache, but I'm going to hold on to it because look at the bottle. It's cute. It's Alien, and this one is, um, I believe this one is called Fuse. I'm not sure, but to me, this is a sister to the purple one. And I love this. The cinnamon in this is well matched out. I feel like they do smell similar. Um, I believe I got this off of the website and I believe it was a hundred and something, but look at this bottle. It's so cute and it's red. Then the next one is coming in after that is the purple bottle. This is my favorite. And as you see, I have like a big, if you guys can see it, I have a dent up in here. I wore the mess out of this. And this was like a Demi Rawlings suggest suggestion. And I don't regret it one bit. And I got this from um, Sephora. No. Nordstrom and one thing about it I can go back and re get this bottle refilled and like I said once you start putting a dent in it you need to move it on along move it along and I know at some point I plan on getting like another bottle of this because well I can go get it refilled so but I want to go ahead and give me another bottle because I'm going to be using this but I just don't I want to make sure I have another bottle before I go back in this and I did get the lotion to it off a of fragrance man Burberry body and this is a very beautiful scent I know um, from Fragrance that they had sent me some samples in the mail and that they had a sample of this. I'm like, you know, I gotta go back and get this. And I got this over Fragrance and I believe it was like a hundred, I think it was like 80 to a hundred bucks. And I haven't used it yet because like I told you, told you guys, I have so much fragrances. Like I have them in my closet, like packed away. 
and you know like it's like a lot of work trying to you know get you know if you're looking for a particular one you have to move everything out and move it around just to find it and like I said down the line I want to like stretch my fragrances out so I can you know use my fragrances because sometimes if I'm wanting a certain one, I have to just go look for it. But lately, I just been pulling certain. I just been sticking to certain few, certain ones that's like in reach, in arm's reach. This is the Q bottle. It's clear. It's very, very body. Is Soleil Lalique. I think I did talk about this one, but I think I did. But look at the bottle. It's cute. It was brand new. I think I got this for like 60 bucks, 60, 60, 70, you know, maybe with the tax and shipping off of Macari. Like I said, do not sleep on Macari. Like, I'm not sure how people are with their fragrances, but sometimes I like my fragrances brand new with the package, really depending on what it is. Or if you can find like a gently used one, that'll be good. But I got this off of Macari. And like I said, if you see like my advice shopping off of Macari, don't get your eyes fixed to one thing because just know there's other people looking up on it as well. Other people looking at it. So you have to hop right up on it. Once people start making offers, you need to go ahead and make a choice if you're going to buy it or not because somebody's going to buy it. What about this Chloe Love story? This is Escada Miami Blossom and I got this from Ulta. I would assume this was no more than $100, maybe $100 and under. And this is like summer, fresh summer in the bottle. Like this smells so good. I forgot all about this fragrance. And as you said, I look a mini dent going on up in here because I used it a lot. But yeah, I will be wearing this pipe for the rest of the summer going out. Because this is like summer, summer, summer. Like this is like one of the perfect you have to always reach for because it's just made for summer. Talk about the Valentina Aroma. Valentina Aroma. This is a sister to the other one. Love, love, love. I know people said this perfume was overhyped on the internet, but I love this. I think I discussed this one. Gucci Floor. Cheap and Chic by Moschino. And this is like a dupe to um, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I got this off of Macari, and this was pretty cheap. I won't say no more than $40 or something like that. And this I Love cheap cheek mosquito cute bottle I have mark jacobs decadence i'm not sure if i went over this but i haven't had this perfume for some years and it's a little cute purse move a little cute purse perfume my next one is ido by i believe it's lancome um i have not worn this yet but i do have a sample of this but it's like a cute bottle it does not stand up so you have to lay this flat but it's so cute like look at this thin bottle it's ysl leave it intense i do have the lighter version just have to go i just had to go back and get this one and i believe i was like 132 something like that and i got it from macy's we have burberry i think it's burberry i don't know which one it is but it's burberry and this is very beautiful and I love the wrap, the design of this bottle. As you see, I don't have much in here. Um, I love the Burberry cloth on this. And I got this from Sephora. I used to wear the mess out of this. So I think I'm down there and I wore the mess out of this a lot. It's cute. I did talk about the Chanel Chance, but like I told you, I love this so much. The other one, I believe, was a toilet. This is the Parfum. I feel like every girl has to have this, has to have this in their collection. Like, this one is my favorite one out of all of them. I do own the green one and the, the Ovive. But this one right here, you got to have her. It's the Parfum de Marley, I believe this is Meliora or something like that. Let me see. No, this is Athalia. And I just had to get her. It was hard trying to choose between her and something else. But yeah, this is a Thalia. And I got this from Nordstrom. And I think this was like $3.35 plus tax. This is a very beautiful scent. But the thing is, it does not last. This is Must Therapy by Initio. And the story with this fragrance was, I was originally going to the store to get a Roja Dove perfume. And the lady asked me, have I smelled the new Rosia, the new Initio? I'm like, no, I already got two Initios at home. And the thing is, I hate when I go to the store and people start trying to persuade you to get something else. Because now 
you didn't want to the store to some, for something that you didn't intend to get. But she sold me and I had to get it. This is like summer in a bottle. I'm not sure if I spoke about this one, but summer in a bottle. I do have the other two. And this one is Oud for Greatness. This is a mature scent. I feel like it smells good on a man. And it's a beautiful bottle. Look at the gold engravings upon this. Like, who can I resist a nice bottle? And I forgot how much this was. Oh man, I think it was like three some. I can't remember. Yeah, three something. The next one is Ab Absolute Aphrodisiac. I did believe I got this one from Neiman Marcus. It was three something. This is a very sweet. I feel like I can wear this more than the other one because the other one is just so masculine smelling to me. I might have to mix it with something else, but it smells good upon a man. This one, like, look at it. It's just a wine glass. I got it because look at the bottle. And also, it does smell good, but it's irritating. And I believe I got these off of Fragrance Nap. And I got the green one. Such a cutie. Like, cute. And this one is from the House of Siage. And this one is the Sweet Dreams perfume. Oh my God, like look how beautiful she is. Look at her, like look at the detail on this bottle. Look at the rhinestones on this bottle. Look at the gummy bears, like, like look at the diamonds, diamonds. I'm not sure if they diamonds or rhinestones, but either or, look how they're glistening. And the only thing I didn't like I had like a little missing piece off top of my apple, but my ghetto so I want to add a little bit of red nail polish up on it. So don't mind that little piece right there. But oh my God, like just look at her. Like she is a beauty. And I got this from House of Siage and it took maybe like two or three days for me to get it. And this retailed for like $3.95. Then when tax and everything hit $4.28, and it's a very sweet scent. I have not sprayed it on my skin yet. It's just like the bottle just so beautiful. I just do not want to spray it, but I'm going to spray it at some point, but I'm still amazed with this bottle. Like House of Sears do have some fine fragrances and like they, their bottles are just top tier when it comes to like decorating them. Like I, one thing I love about House of Sears, they have some nice bottles, but this one here, this one like sold it for me. Like I, there are some House of Sia's fragrances that I want to get, but this one, I knew I had to have her. And my brain, like, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. She's going to sell out. And on top of it, she's a limited edition. So I don't want her to sell out because I'm telling you, once it sells out, people can sell this perfume up to maybe $1,000, 800 or 1000 or maybe even more. But like, I just wanted to show you guys her. And also I'm going to make a part three for the rest of the fragrances because I'm getting tired. And um, I'm going to show my Bond collection for my Bond, my Bond collection as well. And also stay tuned. So I will be doing like a men's perfume haul, you know. So I got some content coming you guys away. Just be patient with me. Also, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this, it can help me keep going. Also, you guys can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to link it below in the description box. I'm just trying to get my following up, you know, and bring some things your guys' way. I'll have a little bit more than coming, you know, more coming besides perfume, but I love perfume. Who don't love to smell good? Who don't like to watch perfume videos? Who don't like to see what people got in their collection? Because I do it all the time. There's some stuff I found out that I never knew existed. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sorry I had to cut this video short. I don't like to make the videos too long because who wants to sit through a long video? All right, guys, so I'll see you in the next video.